Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for more Knights of the Old Republic on Gamer Genius TV with me, Eldris. Just finished up part four, which ran about three times longer than it was supposed to, so I guess that's really like a part four, five, and a six. Whoops. But we're going to be starting up the actual part five right now. And we left off with... God, I don't even remember what. Right, we had just finished up killing Dia taking in uh, the contracts for the bounty contracts and working on that let's see what do we have let's see purchasing a droid I want to buy it but I can do nothing about it got him got him got him only one left is uh, Bindak Starkiller eh? and that's it so let's go turn these in I guess where do I get papers for... I don't remember. I need papers. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. This is the cantina, isn't it? I told you I get lost. Very easily. Okay. So we are on the way, going back down to the lower city. We're going to go back down to the bounty office, turn in all these contracts. Uh, one left. Then we're going to go to the Beck base, I guess? And see if old Mission Val can get us in. I think that's where I'm supposed to go from here. I, I can't remember, though. Oh, well. Okay, continuing forward. Walking, walking, walking. Walking some more. Going through the phallic shaped city of wonder. I thought that said Puerto Rican droid, but it didn't. It said protocol droid. My eyesight is not the best. Okay, so. There we go. I think I have to put on the uniform to get back down there. This elevator is off. It's off. Yep. Move along. I'm gonna need some kind of... Need some kind of disguise, man. It's cool, bro. Just turn around. Just turn around. Look at the at the elevator door. Just look at the elevator door. Just turn around. Okay. Just just stay there. Stay right there. Boom! All right. Turn back around. Another patrol heading down. You That's better... right. Another patrol. All I am. <laughs> Trick ya, bitch. Let's put my Republic armor back on. I really should, while I was up there, I need to add those mods into my Hujuma Jusits. So, that return to hideout function, I can teleport back. <sighs> Go to the workbench. Pretty cool. Upgrade all my stuff. He's got a scope. Makes that a little bit better. Me first. Makes that a little bit better. I got nothing left over for your Garth. But you don't really matter. Sweet. Upgrade all the things. And let's get out of here. Carthy coming with. And then we just teleport back. Ba bing Sweet. Ready to roll. Now we are going to the cantina. Right? Right. Go to the cantina, go back to the bounty office, turn in these uh, contracts, get my money for killing innocent people. Mm, doesn't sound so good. I say it like that, but you know what? Give me the cash. Give me the cash. Alright. Yeah, I'm back again. Why would I want to come and share small talk with you? You're fucking hideous. I got a bounty you collect on. 
Which bounty? Well, I got quite a few to turn in, actually, so... Matrix is dead. That'll teach a lesson to everybody trying to turn against the exchange. Don't fuck with the criminals. 300 credits. Price for all bounties. Okay. I want 400 credits. That's right. Yeah. Give me that 400. Plenty of bounty hunters, but most are lazy. Well, I got plenty to turn in, so... So it's dead. They went after her and ended up dead themselves, so... Really good. 300. No, 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 no. I want 400. That's right. Another bounty? Yeah. Yeah, that was too bad about you. I want 400 for her, too. I want 400 for all of them. Margo should have known better than to run. You owe money, you pay it. And you're gonna pay me. Because I do good work. So that was all of them except Bindak. Got 1600 credits for that. Fucking sweet. Alright. Okay, now I guess to the back base. Oh wait, I passed it, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Yep. Supposed to go out over here. Don't judge me! Back to the lower city. Okay, now to the back base. To the back base, to the back base, all the way back to the back base. Which is the other way. Shut up. Okay, well, let's see what they gotta say. Hey, you can't just walk in here. I this can't. is the hidden back base. How do That's I know you're not really a focused well spy hidden. sent to kill Gadon Thek? Uh. I'm, I'm not a spy? Maybe so. But this door is locked. Um, I need his help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of him. people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. Is that what he is? The days of the hidden you have a strange accent. Policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Valkyrie Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Oh, really? Maybe a bribe could get me in. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Mechs for life? years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Fair enough. But here's some free I advice. Going, then. Get off the streets. The Black Vulcans are taking shots at anyone wandering the streets of the Lower City. Let's try that again. Hey! You can't just walk. I'll go wherever I'm on! Maybe so. But this door is... Damn it. That's not working either. Kirky, I don't know where to go then. Crap. Let's take a look at the quest page. Uh, refuses without proper authorization. I need those papers. I need El Papel. Do 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 do. Just a running through the lower city. Taking a look around, the show ain't pretty. Oh my. Seriously, dude? Yeah, we're not. You know what? No. We're not doing this again. Not right now. You can just hold it inside like a real man. Hold on there, civilian. Unless you've got the proper... Where can I get the papers? Not unless you're on official Seth business. You can't keep me out of... Oh, we're not doing Good. all those cats. Uh... No. Nope. Six machine guns plus a Sith. I'm, I'm not gonna try that. As fun as it would be. No. Sorry. in here, apartments, 
Useless, useless apartment. So... Damn it, I, I don't remember where to go. <laughs> um... Maybe this way is the way to go. Maybe I go to here to the lower city apartments. Maybe not. So back to the upper city. I don't think I go that way either. So this is the Volcar base, right? I, I still can't get in there. I think, right? No problem. No problem. Work. Impossible. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Okay, let's not take a look at the map. Come on, where do I go? I need to get into the Beck base. I just don't know if I'm supposed to get in there right now. No problem. No Didn't problem. Work. In yet. Hey! You can't just walk it. A lot of people want between. Well, we do need all the help we can. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm. Ah, oh, there we go. Part of his own base, not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon. There we want. go. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Are they? Not very good at hiding, though. Okay, so now I'm getting here. Let's go check her out, eh? Hidden back, hidden back, hidden back. All standing out in the open. Deirdre and Hold it right there. Back. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm uh, down, Deirdre. Come Nobody's to going to try drugs. anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you oh, want us to so start sweet. attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. No, step aside. And let them pass. As you wish. You, you shall pass! Again, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything, and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Why would I say that? That just sounds like probably the worst thing I could say in this environment. So you, have to you really don't Zerdra. have to worry about that. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcans began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped you. She better watch it. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Oh man, I'm, I'm looking a little pale over here. I need information on the Republic escape pod. The escape pod? That's what I need. You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might, they might be, be spies, Gadden. Calm down, Zerdra. Seriously, if you better put a leash on knew the anything woman. useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. They'll tie her up with her fucking head. No, tumbles. I think this offworlder has his own agenda. That's right. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. Well, the Vulcas let's crack open that book and start telling you what you know. It. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. But they found. A female Republic officer named Bastion survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prison. So she's a slave now. Oh, that can't be good. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base her on her own. Before they penetrate She's too valuable heads. to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. Swoop You'll race? Find her. Uh oh, we gotta save her before the swoop race. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. 
He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable gang. prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty himself. of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. Sure we can. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Oh man, we gotta do that. How do I? I don't even have a swoop bike. Though. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. Uh oh, this doesn't sound good. We might help you if the price is You're right. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. Fucker. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, or you have to she'll do something be my slave. My mechanics have developed an accelerator yes. for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But Sweet, the get out of jail free button. From us. They, they stole it. Guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I love it. You for break into their base and steal it back. Oh, sweet. I'm good at that. How do I get in there? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Oh, I bet Mission she failed. can. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. Oh, the, if the anyone sewers. Can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. That's where we're going. Isn't there somebody else? Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair, tough enough to go exploring the undercity by themselves. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity, but you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Yeah, I tried that. Got the uniforms, but. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers yeah, to get past that. him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into uh -oh. my hands. Since we're working uh, together I see a now, trade coming. I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Uniforms for the papers. Thanks for the uniforms. No you won't problem. You need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Why would he trade me the? Okay, whatever. I'll be back when I, I get the accelerator. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Got it. Let's go. Let's go, Karth. Grab your purse. We're heading out. So I gotta find mission. I got the papers now. So I can go down to the lowest city. Thing is though, I need really wanted that anti-poison thingy. I'm gonna try something. Maybe it was at that one guy. That uh, Twi'lek that had the kiosk set up. Maybe, maybe it was this guy that had that thing, anti-poison thing. I don't know what the hell it was. Shut up. Leave me alone. Was it you? Was it you? Was it not you? Shit. Well, poop. It would be so helpful not to have to buy a bunch of antidotes. Damn it. I don't know who else could have had it, though. Well, guess we're doing this the hard way. Poop. Let's see, is that the... Okay, that's the Undercity. That's the way I need to go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I had I was so close to having enough money to buy it when I actually saw it. I was like 80 something credits off. I probably could have sold some stuff and got it. No problem. No problem. Didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, I guess I gotta Hold on there, civilian. Only 
only those with official Sith business are allowed. I have official the Sith business. Unless you've got the proper security papers. Got plenty of papers. You turn around and go back the way you came. Plenty of papers right Let here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can Cobra go down. Kai sent me down here. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving Rackles. down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Got it. In the elevator. Let's go. I have no idea how long the session's gone. You there, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, it's this time is to our pay elevator. the toll, troll. If you use it, you gotta give us something. If you want in this boy's hole, you gotta pay the Even toll. The beggars troll. are trying to shake us down. Five credits. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. How about I take this long sword that I have and cut your fucking fingers Run, off? Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Yep. Go on, you two, get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. Is that so? I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's that aren't good. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from uh, the Upworld, aren't Shalina. you? Shalina. I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Oh, it's even better. This place sucks. I, I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The oh, sun, is, the sky, the stars. Sad. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can Man, never this have. Man, this is like, Maybe this is depressing me. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. What's the Promised Land? It's, it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. <sighs> I guess we have to make the best of what we yeah. have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. I'll, I'll do that. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. Damn. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his How stories about the Promised years down Land. Here? But He's really just a kind old man. Where can I find Gendar? He's somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Then I'll have to go talk to him. Do you know anything about the escape pods that I crash? don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Like, I really just want to take you up this elevator so you can go see the upper world. But I guess oh, I can. okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Mm, poor Shalina. Oh well. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be the end of part number, what are we on, like five? So, tune in for the next part where we explore the, the whole of this Undercity area, and go find Rukil, learn some more about the Promised Land, and talk to Gendar. Oh, Gendar. Oh, Gendar. Right. Uh, the next part will be coming very shortly, I'm not finished playing today I'm going to continue shilling off all them episodes like they was cash and I was some kind of rich man which I'm not
But until next time, enjoy.